Oh, yeah! Hey guys, still bad with intros, but we're at the end of the game, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go beat him. I'm gonna go win. It's gonna be great. We're at the end, guys. 119 stars. You know we got a backwards long jump up this for the good old tricky dicky bullshit. Brilliant. So, um, there's not really much to say. Once again, I've been recording the rest of these all in a row, really. So, it's really just the end. We're nearly there. And then after this, we'll get to move on to more games, and we'll have some variety. Because variety is the spice of life indeed. Now, I don't quite remember where all of these red coins are. I believe I'm going to have to follow it all the way around. I know that much. But other than that, I don't really have much of an idea. Besides, like, one that I know for absolute sure where it is. But I don't think there's one over here. But I'm checking just to be... Well then. There's death number one. Fuck. This is gonna... I don't know if this is gonna take a while, if this is gonna take like 15 minutes. This part could range from any number of different lengths, really. All depends, I guess, on how bad at the game I'm feeling today. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So I apologize if my commentary here isn't the best. We've reached the end and I'm kind of exhausted at this point, And I'm just ready to move on to new shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Not really much to say. Ex especially since it's the same day since I've recorded part 7 and 8. So nothing really new has happened. Actually, I think there's one down here. I Memory serves me right, there's one down here. Maybe not? Now there it is. I was about to say I could have swore there was one down there. I just don't remember exactly where. So I'd say this is probably like the best Bowser stage out of them all. Purely because it's just a lot of fun. Especially since it combines a lot of the stuff from the previous Bowser stages. And it overall just makes a really good time that feels really good when you do it alright. It all feels like it comes together, you know what I mean? Especially since this is the last stage of the game, and the red coins feel like they're particularly well placed. Except for that one down there, that one was is kind of bullshit. Just saying. It just feels a bit strange. I think I might have missed a few. Cause I feel like I should have more of these... More of these by now. Actually, no, I think I got it. There's one over there, I believe. We're fine. We're fine. We're living, guys. We are. We are. We are living. You know, I probably should have... I probably should have wrapped this in with the other part. But you know what? It's fine. We're fine. We're alright. If this is a, If this is like a lot shorter than the other parts, then so be it. So we're on the right track. I know where the last one is. If I play my cards right and I don't die, we should have it. It's just this last part's a bit of a doozy. Because they like to invisible wall me sometimes. Okay, we're fine. We in there, guys. Last one's behind the stairs here. This is a real dick one. Because you would never- you would probably never think to look under here. And it's just kind of there on the last approach, but guys... We did it. Right here. Right now, what you're seeing, over here, last star. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Alright, let's go kick Bowser's asshole. Into, let's kick it inside out, baby. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about, dude? I swear to God. My, I swear to God, my tiredness just makes this either funnier or more cringy. It depends on how you look at it. Yes, this is murder on my thumb, because this stick 
fucking hurts. Alright, alright so far. For, there's one. Yes, I'm doing this with my thumb, not my palm, because my palm would probably... You know what? Screw it, I'm doing it with my palm. I'm being real easy on it, though. So it's not like digging into my skin. Alright, that's fine. No, it's not fine. What the hell, dude? My camera's being all fucky here. Fu we were almost two for two. Back away, back away, that falls. Wait, no it doesn't. Why didn't it fall? That's weird. I might have missed too hard. Oh, well, now I better throw him quick. That ain't getting me anywhere. <laughs> Fucking Wow, that I'm 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 surprised that grabbed him. I'm surprised that grabbed him. Alright, one more. Let's not fuck it up too badly. Wow! That was perhaps the worst aim I could have possibly had. I remember one of the streams where I played this game, I was here for like 10 minutes straight, just throwing him on the third phase. I didn't die or anything, I was ju I just kept missing the throws. Hopefully we don't repeat that. We're gonna repeat that. Why can't I aim for the life of me? He should be dead by now. I think one of the main reasons why I wanted this to have its own separate part was because I kind of accounted for the fact that these throws would take me like 10 minutes. Because it's happened before. I'm sure it's probably about to happen again. I literally have to spin him with my palm. Alright, that's not helping. There we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, thank fuck. Okay, game's over. I actually completed a Let's Play on this channel! Oh man, it's been like forever since I've done that. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I could- I can probably- I- It's been forever since I've completed a Let's Play on this channel, dude. Sonic 1 was probably the last one. Like, I tried Sonic Adventure and I only did Sonic Story. Mario Crossover, I guess, technically counts. If you count only one portion. But other than that, this is like the last one I've done in a few years. Who would have thunk? And and all 120 stars too. Man, I'm I'm rolling in it. I'm rolling in it this time. Ladies and gentlemen. And we're only eight this is gonna be a short ass fucking video, dude. We're only eight minutes in. I don't know, I'm just kind of letting this play out. I mean, what is there really to say? Plus, this is just a really good ending, especially with the credits music. Look, I know this game came out like five years before my time, but I, I still absolutely love it, dude. It's probably my favorite Mario game. The power of the stars is restored to the castle. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Wow, this is a lot laggier than I remember it being. The music is not supposed to end for like another 10 seconds. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. Or at least another 5, maybe not another 10. I love this song, dude. This song is brilliant. I can't imagine what it feels- if, if it's making me nostalgic, I can't imagine how nostalgic it makes people who played this back in 96. 
Now if this shit makes me fucking nostalgic... I mean, I've only had this game for what? Maybe five? Six years? I think maybe closer to six. I forget when I first got my Nintendo 64. I'd have to look that up. Can I look that up? I guess I can while, uh... I can while this is playing out. I don't know if I ha can look it up on my phone, though. Because I don't know if I have Amazon in my, uh... In my shit. Hold on a second, this might... But I guess while I'm pulling this up... I guess you could see that I really love this game if I was dedicating all this time to it. I don't know if the listing is even still up. I know I got this shit, the Nintendo 64, for like 30 bucks. It'd probably take me a while to scroll through like my- or yeah, it definitely wasn't that. I'd have to probably re-scroll through my order history in order to find that out. Let me see. But yeah, overall, this game is really, really good. I'd say it's worth just a Nintendo 64 in general. Just for this shit. I mean, I have all those- I have all these Nintendo 64 games sitting behind me on my shelf over there. Yet- okay, I don't know the password. I'm gonna have to- I'm not gonna figure it out now. But... I just play this game. This is really the only reason I own the Nintendo 64. I really just use it for this game. It's- it's really good. I mean, I have dabbled in some Star Fox 64. I tried Ocarina of Time, didn't really get too far in it. But this shit is makes owning a Nintendo 64 worth it, in my opinion. And I know you can just play it on an emulator, but I always just felt better playing it on the original console. I just kind of felt like I always had more control. But then again, I have gotten used to playing this shit on a keyboard now, so I mean, make of that what you will. Ah, shit. It's skipping a little bit. I think the audio's a bit behind. Whatever. This Elgato's weird, dude. I think my computer might not quite have the power to be able to handle it. Thank you so much for playing my game. And that's it. I th you're stuck on this screen, by the way. This was back in the era where if you got to uh, the end screen, you were just kind of stuck there. You couldn't... Oh, that was me putting the controller down, sorry. You couldn't really, like, start button past it or anything. It was just... That was just kind of it. You had to reset the console in order to really get anywhere. So we're not going to end it on this screen. I'm going to go to Yoshi. If you guys don't know what Yoshi is, well, you're about to find out. Mario. When you get 120 stars, if you don't know this, oh, I have, look at this, I only have five more stars to get on that file. Christ. And then I'll have a full set. That was just for me. I might just do that just for the hell of it. Getting all the, I, I, that was just a time thing that I, like, spent a lot of time into. I've gotten 120 stars three times now. Christ. So now this cannon opens up once you get all 120 stars, and then you're able to shoot up here. And then once you're up here, well... It's your boy. I'm not gonna read it, you guys can read I'm not really one for reading dialogue, I just kind of put it up on the screen. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of the fun. <laughs> we want you to keep on playing. He's just going to give us a hundred lives, they, thinking that we it'll make us keep on playing. The Super Mario 64 team. So you just they just kind of give you a hundred lives, and they alter your triple jump a little bit. In my opinion, the triple jump is worse. They want us to keep playing, so they just throw more lives at us. Right, but actually, before I get that, this is the triple jump. In my opinion, it's not as good, because if you notice afterwards, it's not as high, for one thing. 
and you get a little bounce after it, and that can kind of throw you off during platforming. So I don't really like it very much. But then you get access to this wing cap here. And it makes it all worth it. Because this moment right here, just flying around the castle courtyard, I failed, of course. But who says I didn't fail on purpose? I didn't. That's just me being dumb and stupid and not knowing how to fly. Because let me tell you, these flying controls are kind of hard to master, dude. But now even better, you can just kind of hop in the cannon and, and well, go to town. It's not a great 100% reward, but I like it. Plus, you can then fly under the bridge and be like, Yahoo! Nah, that was Waha. But whatever. Well, that's it. that's pretty much the end. There is one more thing I'm going to show off here real quick, though. Um, I think this is the only other change? I'm not sure. And it, plus, it's been a while since I've done it. If you go on over to Cool Cool Mountain now, and go to that penguin, you'll find he's changed quite a bit. I'm gonna actually just pick his star, just flat out. Give him the respect he deserves, you know? Now you'll notice he's, uh... His model's been stretched a bit. He's also a bit fat. What's up? He hasn't been on a slide lately. He's still up for a good race. This doesn't give you, like, a 121st star or anything. He still gives you the same star. This is just kind of something, I guess. They wanted to give you something else. So they took the penguins model, stretched it out a little bit on the Z-axis. He can also push you off a lot easier, as you almost just saw there. But really, other than that, he's right there. He's a little... F I've heard he's a little faster, too. Doesn't really matter. So, I mean... <laughs> I don't know, guys. This just looks funny to me. They just It just literally looks like they stretched his model out a bit. And now he's fit. So, again, no secret 121st star. It's just kind of something new you can do. So, that is pretty much it for the game. I'm gonna go out to the castle courtyard just because it's probably my favorite place to end something like this. I know it's only been like a couple weeks since I've started this, but I'm already kind of somber that it's ending. Did you know? I really like, I really enjoy this game. It's probably, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Sonic is still, I still like Sonic a lot better as a franchise. More than Mario, because it's just, it seemed a bit more, uh, just cooler, in my opinion. And I just enjoy his games quite a bit more. But Mario 64... Can I... Can I, like... Can I, like, make the camera... I need to go in a course to do it, so I don't think I can. I need to just lock the camera, but that's not gonna be happening. But just... I really like this game, dude. I got the... I know, I don't know if I told this version, this story yet or not. But I got the Nintendo DS version first. That was like my first ever exposure to the game. And... <coughs> Excuse me, don't get it wrong, I liked it and everything. <coughs> I've just always heard people say that the Nintendo 64 version was better. I know I could have just stuck to an emulator, but my computer was really bad at that point. And I don't think it could handle Nintendo, the Nintendo 64 emulation. So I actually just went out and just, I, I found one online that was $30, the game, and I found the game too, that was $20. I just bought it, and hooked it up, and I played this version, and I still just prefer this version. Despite the fact that it's kind of five years before my time, I still have pretty nostalgic memories with it. It's a really nice game, dude. Get it, definitely get it on emulator, though, that's definitely the better option, in my opinion. It's not really worth, like, buying an... I w it's probably worth... I would say if you can find a Nintendo 64 as cheap as I did. And the game, I basically got it for less of the... Less the for, like, $10 less the price of, like, a AAA game today. 
and I love it. I feel like it's worth every dollar. I looked on Amazon while the credits were going. Right now, the best refurbished Nintendo 64 you can find, like one of the first ones, is like $120. <laughs> How fitting, am I right, considering the star count? But I'd say it's even worth that price. But I'd say maybe go for it on emulator instead. Because I don't think they've re-released it. They've re-released it on Wii U Virtual Console. I think that's good. I just never tried it because... Uh, and technically, I probably should have. But I didn't because I actually broke that version. I don't know if you, for you guys have played the, Nintendo, the Wii U yet. When you play Virtual Console games on the Wii U, you can press the ZR button, which is basically like the shoulder button, and reassign, get to like a menu that you can reassign your buttons to. I don't know if there's a way to get back to it. I accidentally reassigned the button that takes you to the menu to the crouch to that to like the crouch button. So I and the I don't really like the control. I can't change it anymore. So that's why I've never really played it on the Wii U. Cuz now without that I can't even do any restore points or anything. So I kind of screwed myself out of that version. Whatever. But this game's really nice. It's really worth it. I have to say, though, getting 120 stars does kind of exhaust you from it, though. But anyway, that's going to be it for this game. It's been really nice. Uh, the next game I'm going to do is going to be Dragon Ball something. Uh, it's probably going to be Budokai Tenkaichi 3. You probably don't understand a word of what I just said. But you'll figure it out. It's my favorite Dragon Ball game and another one of my favorite games of all time, in my opinion. It's just that good to me. So that'll be the next thing you see from me after this. Oh, he's saying something. Yeah, you go ahead and rest, Mario. You deserve it. After going through fucking Tiny Huge Island 100 coin mission, yeah, you deserve that rest. But anyway, that's going to be all for this game. The next you'll see from me is Dragon Ball Z. You're gonna, you guys are going to love it. It's going to be great. I have a lot of good things planned for it. And yeah. This has been Supersonic 1014. I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings and my playthrough of this game. And I'll see you guys with whatever comes next, whether it be everything wrong with or the next game. See you then. Bye.